Tonight on Strange Inheritance, a Holocaust survivor leaves behind a secret diary. The information inside of it kicks off a search by his daughter for art looted by the Nazis in World War II. Roll tape. This is a particularly disturbing drawing for me. Electrocution by choice. People have been dehumanized, tortured. They could no longer think. And this was a better option. Why do you think your father didn't make that choice? He had to live so that he could sh show the scenes that he witnessed. That was a powerful reason for his survival. Joining us now is the host of Strange Inheritance, that would be Jamie Colby. Explain that emotional soundbite there. That's the daughter, I presume. Correct. Who got the diary, found out that there was art looted by the Nazis, and she's going after the art. That wasn't the art that was displayed there, was it? Well, her father was a commercial artist here in the United States after the war. Okay. And she knew that he had painted portraits for the Nazi Gestapo soldiers of their family members in order to stay alive. What she didn't know is that to stay alive at Auschwitz, he not only painted the portraits, but he had another wife and another daughter named Miriam. She wasn't the first Miriam. She learns in the diary that he believes that little girl and her mother were killed in the gas chamber. On a better note, after the war, he thought it very important to go from portrait painting to painting scenes of what he had experienced. If there's anyone out there that doubts that the Holocaust happened, this episode is one to watch and one to share. But, but this electrocution by choice is what he shows in the paintings of what people did. They literally threw themselves at an electrified fence uh, because they couldn't take it anymore. He's a survivor. She's a survivor. And Miriam Friedman Morris will not stop until all of her father's art that was looted, hidden all over Europe, is back in her hands. I've got 30 seconds because there is another episode airing tonight for the first time, and that's the I love you letter. Yeah, Wait, I think I cried gone. more in these two on set than I did with the Orbison sons, because these are two children who really learn how much their parents love them, but late in life. And this architect, whose father was very famous, Pietro Belusky, he built not only Juilliard, but some of the buildings here, the Pan Am Tower, and all over the world, he becomes an architect trying to escape his father's shadow. In the end, the greatest thing he can be is his father's son. Very special night. Two new episodes starting at 9 o'clock Eastern Time tonight on the Fox Business Network. Only on the Fox Business <laughs> Network. <laughs> thank you very much. Strange inheritance indeed. Jamie, thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, Stuart. Indeed.